Hi, here is Ola and in this video I will talk about the macro scripts in Maestro 7.0. First we will open the macro window using the macro button from the top of the user interface. From the right side of the macro window there are macro maintenance buttons allowing us to create new, open existing or remove macro. Let's create a new macro. In macro editor tab we can define the name of our macro. Optionally to define a shortcut for the macro. There is an option to save the macro script as a file in storage by defining its path. Usually we are storing the macros in G drive, macros folder and save. Here we have an option to select if our macro will be a signal so we can call for a name of our signal and its value we can send a direct signal as an application level or item level so this function that guarantees that only one object will receive this signal we can use the wizard window and define from the drop down list which action we want to perform for example we want to queue item let's uh, say super so I will give it the unique ID of my super item 61 and OK. OK, so we have our new macro and once we're triggering our super item get loaded. I will go back and using this arrow button allows us to expand the macro to modify it or just right click and edit. I can copy this as a script then I'll have my script below I can check the syntax by pressing a 5 button the script is correct and here is our macro now I will open existing macro from the storage I will navigate to my macro folder and expand already created macro from the file I'll define a shortcut for my macro shift C. I'm receiving a notification that this shortcut is already used for something else so shift N. So once I will play something out using this clean macro will remove everything from my output channels. To remove macro just press the X button. Thank you for watching.